last time we looked at alert boxes. Now we're going to look at confirm boxes. Back at our dinner menu program and our second button says please confirm. Let's click that and we're given the question time to eat. I'm going to click OK and it says let's eat. All right. I'll bite. I'll click OK and we're right back to where we started. Now let's take a look at what happens if we press cancel. Oh, you pressed cancel. So I have a choice. And there is an alternate action based upon my choice. I can confirm or cancel. Let's take a look at the code. Here's this JavaScript function that I would use to do what we saw. In fact, I would. I did use it. Start out by defining a function. And we do this with the keyword function followed by a name. And we make up this name. So I called it show underscore confirm. And it's a function name. So it has to be followed by an opening and closing parentheses. I know on my system that kind of looks like a circle, but it's a left and a right parentheses. Then all of the steps within my function are enclosed in braces. And the first thing that I do is declare a variable called r. And I'm making r equal to something. So I'm initializing R. Now, to initialize it, I call a JavaScript function called confirm. This is part of JavaScript. We don't have to program confirm. All we need to do is give it the question we wish to present. What do we want our viewer to confirm? Time to eat is in quotes. That's what we want to display. Now, we, our viewer can confirm or cancel. If they confirm, then R becomes true. If they cancel, it's false. So our next line, we test R. Now, notice the double equal sign. We're not saying that R is true. We're asking a question. Is R true? So when we want to test equality in JavaScript, we use two equal signs. So if R is true, then we'll do this. We will send out an alert box that says, let's eat. Else, now this is the part where if R is not true, then it's false. And what will we do? We will alert, you pressed cancel. And that is all there is to it. Now, this code is sitting there in the head section of my web page. Nothing will happen unless I call this function. So let's go down to the body. And again, there's that part where we determine the day of the week and decided what we would have in our menu. And here is the second input. This is the one that calls the confirm box. So we have an input. The type is button. On click, when this is clicked, we want to do show confirm. That's our function. And it's in quotes. So on click equals quote show underscore confirm function end quote the value is what we display on our button so when i go back to my web page there's my button waiting for me i can press it or not if i do press it 
I'm asked the question, time to eat. Yes or no? Okay or cancel? Okay, let's eat. And that's all there is to it. Now, give that a try. Play around with it. Because I think you'll find it very useful on your web pages. See ya.